We are going to take a look at the Samsung M.2 and this is the Evo version and this is the NVMe version. So basically do you envy me Samsung? Now, purely this review is basically you want to get the ultimate speed. Now, there's plenty of MVMEs out there that are really fast and slow, but you can get the, the little notch in your motherboard. Say that you've got room for an M.2 or even two M.2 spots, and it's generation four, you can get speeds that are just incredibly fast. Now, this one is meant to be 3,200 reads and 1,900 writes, and that is super, super fast. Now, you have got much faster MVMEs out there and also Samsung's got a pro version which is even faster and you've got an accelerator which you can turbo over what your read and write speeds that you're getting as a baseline now that is so sick but this is a 500 gig version this is around 250 or 100 250 pound I'll put a link in the description down below and I'll try and find the cheapest price where you can get this MVME if you're interested in having the fastest optimized games or you got or you really want to have the fastest uh, um, like render times for video production and photography and 3D like renders and all that sort of stuff. This is really top notch. That's why it's a bit pricey. But instead of having, I know you could get loads of SSDs and basically put them in RAID 0 and kind of get the performance, but then it's kind of beating around the bush. This is really quite small. So I don't know. But I want to take a look at it, talk about it, and show you the read and write speeds and what I'm looking at on actual. Uh, on the um, screen. So it's got a 3 bit um, NAND flash, which is by Samsung. Runs at 3,200 megabytes and 1,800, between 1,800 and 1,900 write speeds. But we're going to test that out anyway. It's got a DRAM cache memory of 512. It's DDR3 uh, DRAM cache memory. It's got a maximum random read 4K. 330,000 IOPS and max random write 4K is 330,000 IOPS as well. Latency is non applicable, special features, advanced garbage collection, uh, AES 256 bit encryption support, and trim support. Power consumption is 5.4, max endurance is 200, MTBF 1.5 million hours and we've got non-operating vibrations at 20 to 20,000 hertz. This is a lot just for NVMe, isn't it? Uh, connection is one times M.2 uh, PCIe, so you can connect it to a PCIe in slot, put it in a 16 time bus on a motherboard, or you can have it into a slot. So there's two different ways that you can have that. Um, actually to use as a storage device which is pretty cool this is the 960 EVO version yeah and the height is 2.38 millimeters which doesn't really make a difference it's really thin and really small M.2 228 PCI 3.0 times 4 so basically it's equivalent of 4 SSDs but really no because 4 SSDs is 550 megabytes topped out um, at read and write speeds basically and going over a little bit more than that you're probably going to kill your SSDs and the controller in the flash as well so that rounds off to be what would that be five two thousand yeah I suppose it is round round that area but you can have four SSDs in RAID 0 send it all up bit of a mission probably cost more or get an MVME slightly cheaper 500 gig use it as a boot up drive and store games on or anything you want to do but anyway that's the specs out of the way so now what we're going to do we're going to we're going to test the speed of this thing and see how fast it really is anyway links in the description down below to another mvme if you want to find out more detailed about the nan flashes or anything to do with ssds and everything like that what's the difference between an ssd a mechanical hard drive a 5400 rpm speed a 7200 rpm speed an ssd that is an old edition SSD with a new edition MLC uh, VLC I can't remember there's so many of them and then obviously NVMe PCIe and then NVMe as uh, the fourth generation or G, uh, generation four that goes into your motherboard your generation three as well which is slightly slower and I think that's about it let's just get on and see the speed
having V Nan Flash made by Samsung, their Plaris version of Nan Flash, means that you're getting optimized speed. So with having the most current motherboard and the most updates, firmware and all that sort of stuff, then basically you're going to get more of a performance boost as well as Samsung's tool to increase the speeds of the read and writes from the NVMe flash as well, which is brilliant, it's awesome. That means you're gonna get great performance from 3D renders, video editing, but, uh, photo rendering, um, music engineering, and tasks back and forwards, it's really quite cool. And obviously gaming as well, but it is slightly expensive for gaming, but it depends on what you want to pay for? Do you want to pay for very fast speed with a very small footprint? Go with that. If you want to have, or if you've got SSDs lying around and you can get to the optimized speed of uh, this sort of NAND flash, you're going to need probably about six SSDs, but technically you could, it is possible that you could get that speed. And other than that, you can buy SSDs and try and work out the price to price performance, but you ain't gonna beat that as price of performance. This is the lower version of the pro version. They've even got a faster version of this, so it's pretty incredible. Anyway, you've seen the speeds there. The speeds are incredible, and it'll be great for 4K as well, and even 5K when it comes in. But anyway, you like this video, thumbs up. If not, dislike it. Leave a comment about have you got an NVMe? Have you had any problems with NVMe? And that lets people know if it's really quite good or not. Thanks for watching, see you next one.